previously on Harun Channel. Nampak? Wing. Izin lepas ni gaming kan? Kita akan masuk dalam tasik. Kita akan lawan ikan duyung. Oh, cerita lepas ni? Ha. Okay, hi. Kembali lagi kita di dalam game Magic Awaken dengan season baru. Iaitu season pasal ikan duyung. Aku tak tahu apa nama season aku lupa dah. Tapi ia pasal ikan duyung dan pasal Blake, pasal Blake Lake yang ada ikan duyung. So, without further ado, let's go. Benda ni. Kenduyung. Dah boleh terus masuk ni ke? Eh! Apa tu? Sejak bila pula ada pusat pusaran air besar kat sini? Oh my god! Dah boleh masuk ke? Oh, si nak tekan mana dulu ni? Nak tekan black leg ke? Nak tekan ni? Boleh masuk ke? <SILENCIO> Serius lah. Kita dah boleh masuk dalam tasik. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Seriously, this is so fucking magical gila, bab. Oh my god! This is so amazing! I'm happy! Ah. Serious lah! Pahalo. Pahalo. Asal mungkin ada Aku boleh tengok gambar I need to take a picture of this Satu Dua Tiga That's awesome Dear Magic Awakening stuff, You guys outdone yourself Seriously This is Beautiful Ah, this is a magic come to seriously seriously this is so powerful this is so magical this is so magnificent this is so amazing this is so everything between Eh, ada orang. Hai. I'm hiding out from McGonagall. After all, she can't give me detention if she can't find me. Okay. I just hope it's true what they say about cat enemy guy. Oh my god, is there a mermaid? Is there a fucking mermaid? Oh, ah. Hey, Konian. Hmm. 
Ingat kan ikan duyung Ya nanti lah kita sambung balik lah ni Kita buat story dulu lah This is gonna be the best season ever Just because we can get into the Black Lake Not so many Harry Potter game Do that Even Hogwarts Legacy don't do that um, Okay let's go Chapter 1 into the black into the black into the black into the black the black like the black like the the black like is calling the black lake is calling you will you hit will you hit a second song that waters hide many mysteries and magical beasts as well do you dare to say to do that of course i am of course i am talk to daniel hi daniel don't time to see Hello everyone. I'm so excited for our very first defense against the dark arts lesson by the lake. What about you, Daniel? Sure, it's cold, damp and soggy. What's not to like? Oh, quit complaining, Daniel. At least we're not spending the afternoon in a stuffy classroom. What do you think Professor Brindamore has in store for us? Honestly, I don't care. As long as it doesn't involve me getting wet. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Page. Because learning the proper defense against most aquatic menaces requires testing the water, so to speak. Okay. Is everyone here? Good. Let's begin. Um, ah, uh, the squid thing. I forgot its name. Um, uh, we, 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 the, we, the, we, the something. Waddle D, Weedle D, um, I forget his name. But it's the squid thing in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Wa wa. Today will be the first in a series of lessons on defending oneself against dangerous underwater creatures. Our very own Black Lake is home to many such beasts, some more menacing than others. Can anyone give me an example? More people, more folks. The giant squid. Yes, we have our very own Archytothis dux. Although it's rather elusive and not particularly threatening despite its impressive size. What else might we find? <laughs> If you're referring to the mer people, then yes, a tribe of selkies do make the Black Lake their home. Despite what you may have heard, however, they are not a threat so long as you treat them with respect. How did you them? Perhaps something a bit smaller and troublesome. I forgot the the squid name. The the we 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 the people uh, Grindylo it's Grindylo Oh I know a Grindylo Grindylo <laughs> Meet our resident water demon the Grindylo this little beastie might not look like much, but beneath the surface they're rather nasty, especially when a horde of them descends on you. Look at all those teeth. Yes, best to avoid getting bitten, unless you fancy a visit to the matron. The good news is Grindylows are quite thin-skinned, thus a well-aimed revulsion jinx will cause them to loosen their grip. Grindy lows only live underwater, right? So we should be fine if we stay out of the lake, right? Oh dear, Mr. Page. I'm afraid you're not going to like our next lesson. Not one bit. Why? 
and the professor Brindle Mung head to the three boomsticks. But I want to go into the lake why I have to go to Hotsmith. Anyway, let's go. Oh my god, seriously. We have access to the Black Lake right now. Even Hotwoods Legacy don't do that. Oh my god, and this is a mobile game, not a console. Hey. Swimming in the lake? Is she mad? No, she's not. She's a genius, Daniel. Don't tell me you never learned to swim, Daniel. Of course, I know how to swim. But that doesn't mean I want to jump in the black lake. I'm not a fish. Well, you're gonna be. I thought maybe you were afraid to get your hair wet. Mm-hmm. Do you know how long it takes to drive this mob? It's a many cities. Well, I think Professor Brindle Moore's idea is... Right! See, I do agree with me. It's brilliant. It's a whole other world beneath the surface. I can't wait to see a mer person. Exactly! Me too! You know they're not the most friendly lot, right? I heard one of them tried to drown a first year just last month. Hmm, there must be a misunderstanding. Really? I heard he got tangled in seagrass chasing after a pet toad. Whatever. I suppose you're thrilled about all this, yeah? Of course! I'm ready to I'm dive ready in. To, actually. It'll be fun. Exactly. It's gonna be fun. 10 per 10. 100 per 10. Right. Swimming with a giant squid. What fun. Hey, the giant squid is friendly, okay? Still, I'm sure it's going to be quite a proper adventure. It is! Looking. So what's the story? That was amazing. Thanks. I'm glad someone enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. How do you play so many instruments at once? Lots of practice. And a bit of magic, of course. If I'm not mistaken, are the school gonna be in the season as well? Um schools like Mahotokoro? The magical school in Japan, and so, I don't know about the other one. Right? Brazil, maybe. That's right, but I'm still playing each instrument, just not touching them with my fingers. It's more difficult than it looks. Don't mind Daniel; he's always hunting for a trick to everything. I'm Ivy, by the way, and this is my friend. Say my name, Ivy. Say my name. It's me, Harun. Nice to meet you all. Name's Calliope, but you can call me Cal. Where are you from, Calliope? Are Those you one of Mulfolk? I went to Hogwarts myself. Okay, no. Really? Did you study music? Not at all. Played a few socials, sang in the frog choir, but that's about it. On the road is where I truly learned to play. But you're so good. You must have traveled everywhere. I've played in more villages than I can count. But then, being a fan of music also means listening. Everyone has a song to share. Often, something special from their past. I love to hear them all. My mom used to sing to me when I was little. There was this one song about a moon calf that always put me right to sleep. A moon calf lullaby? I'd love to hear it. What? You want me to sing? I can't even carry a tune. Doesn't matter. A beautiful song is beautiful no matter how it's sung. Yeah, but you haven't heard me sing. Besides, everyone loves your music. I wish that were true. Let's just say the response in Hogsmeade has been... Been what? Well, let's call it mixed. Clearly they don't have an ear for playing <clears throat> music. You're very kind, but I'm afraid there aren't enough young ears like yours to keep me here. Then you should come to Hogwarts. You can play a show for us. 
That would be lovely, but I seem to recall the professors aren't too keen on strangers showing up at the front gate. But you're not a stranger. I'm sure they'll remember you. Hmm. Mr. Filch certainly will. He was not a fan of my impromptu performances. I think he still has my favorite gob iron stuffed in a drawer somewhere. Filch doesn't like anyone, especially not the students. I suppose Professor Flitwick might remember me. He's quite a fan of music. Perfect. I'll ask him. All right, thanks. Perhaps I'll get a chance to hear a few more songs before I move on after all. Cassandra with her roses Careful with tones Um. Okay, meet up with Daniel Eh, salah tangga No, come back <sighs> Magical stairs. Wait. Hi, Daniel. Hurry up, we're going to be late for class. Sorry, I was talking to Professor Flitwick about Cal. Oh, did he remember him? Yes, apparently Cal left quite an impression. Good or bad? Good. Professor Flitwick loved his music. Cal even convinced him to sing a few songs himself, which he said he never does. Oh, I have to sing in front of everyone. The professor said he'd ask the headmistress about allowing Cal to perform. Isn't that great? Wonderful. Now come on, let's get this over with. I thought we were going to class. Yeah, anyway, I want to go to Blake Lake any way, so let's go to Blake Lake. Oh my god, it's so, always so amazing seeing it. Eh, we're not going there yet. Oh, <coughs> we are going to class. <coughs> the Blade Lake class. I thought we were going to class in the castle. Hi, Daniel. Can breathe underwater. Anyone? No, of course not. Does anyone know how to remedy that? Bubble head charm. Oh, you can turn your head into sharks like a with the crown. Did. Very good, Mr. Page. A bubble head charm will provide a pocket of air from which to breathe for a short period of time. What else? Quite right, Miss Fole. Gillyweed not only allows you to breathe underwater, it also provides webbed feet and hands to make you a more effective swimmer. Anyone else? Transfiguration. It is indeed possible to partially transfigure oneself into, say, a shark and successfully navigate the depths. 
I would suggest this option only for those who excel in transfiguration, however, as the transformation can be challenging. Will we be able to talk to each other underwater? No. You'll need to use hand signals. And before you ask, yes, your ones will work underwater. Just speak the incantation normally. <laughs> um, come, come, everyone into the lake. Your assignment is as follows. Swim to the bottom and retrieve a marker, like this one. Right. Where's the marker? You'll find them hidden amongst the rocks and ruins on either side of the tall sea grass. Okay. Grindelow are also quite common in this area, so be careful and work together. Okay. The first to return with a marker will receive top mark. What about a prize? Professor Slughorn sometimes gives out rewards for the best potions. I would hope passing class is reward enough, Mr. Page. Okay. Worth a shot. Huh? Bubble hit chum. But I already went to the Bleak Lake before this. So I'm supposed to go to class first, huh? Okay. is amazing. Look at all the fish. I don't know what Daniel was worried about. This is fun. Was that a giant tentacle? Maybe I should find a marker and get back. Oh, is it baik dia orang letak tan apa tanda pecah kompas ni. Direction ni. No me. Okay. Hey, wait. View what? Fair enough. Ayo. <laughs> no, you didn't. I saw you before. Uh. Yes, I am. Thank you. That's very nice of you. As long as you don't try to kill me. Kenapa dia tiba-tiba tak ada lagu ni? Okay. Oh, someone's trapped beneath the room. Hmm. The mermaid, move folks. I wonder if they are dangerous. Hi. Ah, uh, do you speak English? I don't understand me. Oh, wait. Oh no. 
Okay, to be continue. Okay, aku rasa aku berhenti dulu sampai di sini untuk chapter 1. Aku just nak guna-guna dalam tasik sekarang. Uh, okay, kita akan berjumpa di gameplay yang akan datang. Bye!